Okay, back to the actual game in hand. The dialogue, as I said, is nothing to talk about. So I'm going to skip ahead of some parts. And Seth is going to tell a story, which is going to turn out, from which either he tells the player, which isn't a bad idea, actually, he tells the player that he told a lie to Rhea. However, the one thing I'm wondering is, what the hell did he tell her? Ugh! I'm not sure if he thinks his parents are alive. I don't know. But here's one thing I'm here's one thing I'm thinking. If he tells this girl that his parents are alive, first of all, why is he talking to some random girl in the forest to begin with? Shouldn't he be a little suspicious? All right, what class did he make Rhea? Cleric. Yes, cleric. Uh, just look at class, cleric. If there's one stereotype in RPGs that I hate, 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 hate more than any others, it's the fact that you can predict who the useless characters are by their appearance and even by gender, which I think is a really backwards way of thinking. Cleric. Ugh. For once, I want to see some 15, 16 year old, like, femboy. Well, that's probably the wrong word to use. Probably some 15 or 16 year old um, guy be the healer in the party and have the uh, main fighter be, um, uh, be either a butch or something of that kind. Because quite honestly, I'm getting very sick of blonde girls in white dresses being the clerics. And yes, Cytheus is a swordsman. A rune swordsman. I don't even know what the hell that is, but apparently that means some kind of holy swordsman. Okay. Again. Another cliche I've seen used way too many times in my old RPG Maker 2000 days. I had thought that, that we had long since passed by such stereotypes like this. Apparently, I was wrong. This is probably one of my biggest complaints about this game. And right, rightfully so, because I've seen this in commercial RPGs and it pisses me off just as much as it does in these games. <sighs> okay, I'm going to stop focusing on the beginning of the game and now I'm going to get along with the gameplay. Okay, back to the actual gameplay. My biggest gripe about the gameplay isn't that it's slow, and the game it does, uh, the game is paced fairly slowly. As if uh, this guy apparently wants you to take your sweet time with this game. However, there's a big problem with that. A lot of the maps are very, very small, so apparently he's just using the slow gameplay to compensate for that. I didn't bother getting that little treasure chest over there, in the, in the left side of the screen. Oh yeah, and that guy with the red hair, apparently that's not a bandana, is the third party member. His name is Max, and you don't really have a chance to get a glimpse of his personality before he leaves your party upon entering this little village of Lorca. Alright, I'm told to go visit the mayor's house, and Rhea has kind of left the party to do something else. Okay, why is the overworld music playing in the mayor's house? Ugh. I'm wondering the guards look alike. Forget it. Anyway, that's the mayor. And uh, his head looks kind of big. Um, anyway, what else can I say about this? about this mayor's house. Really not a whole lot. Okay, the mayor tells you that there's a um, ceremony of swords going on. Which... Wait. What? Look at that. This guy is so lazy on the dialogue that he even abbreviates! He abbreviates the ceremony of swords! Ah! Never before have I seen somebody do this. And I hope to never, ever see anyone do it again. <sighs> okay, enough griping about the dialogue. I've bitched about it enough. Now I'm going to actually complain about another problem I have, which is the setting. The author claims that this game is a very dark setting. However, I tend to disagree. When I think of a dark setting, I'm thinking of epics like Batman and Sweeney Todd. That's a dark setting. 
However, the setting to this game, I'm not even sure really what it is really. I'm, I'm not sure what kind of feel or it's supposed to be giving off to me, because quite honestly, I was not able to really get into the story of this game too much. The gameplay, um, I already bitched about that. Uh, the, um, the setting also has another big problem, is that it doesn't really give you any kind of mood anywhere. Even when the fat, even when the fat uh, white guy, uh, Void, is killing people and oozing towards uh, the main character's parents, going to kill them. It still doesn't really give me that much of a fe feeling because the music is so damn off. The guy does not know what he's doing with atmosphere, apparently, and he should probably learn to do that. However, as a developer, I will say that this guy really has a lot of potential. He did put in, he did program in a uh, relationship system, which I think was a great idea. However, the only problem with that is none of the characters are likable. So I don't plan on using it. I think in order for that thing to really be usable, you have to have characters that are likable. Uh, anyway, here's one other problem where I have, uh, here's another problem I have with the setting of the game. He sets fast-paced music, which is a Fire Emblem 7 song. There, this is not the only one I saw throughout the game. A really fast-paced Fire Emblem song, and look what the character is doing. Walking. Walking at normal speed supposedly walking not running not frantically searching walking all right here's my overview of the game my ratings graphics two two out of five okay um while this guy certainly had clashing graphics like no other at least he knew when at least he knew how to map his mapping was actually very good Story, zero. I really didn't find it interesting. He didn't even attempt to take a twist on the more popular uh, bad guy kills father, a son goes to avenge father. Fun factor is one, because that boss fight towards the beginning was fairly enjoyable. The dialogue and the characters I felt were kind of non-existent, which was a really big disappointment for me. Gameplay was a two. Again, that boss fight in the beginning was actually very good. The audio was a two, because this guy's sound effects were off, However, he did know when to use ambience instead of just using some of that crappy music he had. Anyway, while this game I don't think has too much potential to it, the developer himself I think does have potential. And here's what I mean by that. This game is not the best this guy can do. And I hope he realizes this. He can do much better than this. But um, I like that he used a lot of neat little custom systems that weren't really that hard to implement. He had a little jumping mini game. However, the thing was, it didn't really have any challenge factor to it. It wasn't like, oh, you can possibly get hurt or something. So I would add something like that. I actually, to be honest with you, didn't get too far into this game. So I'm going to continue playing, and if I change any of my scores, I will come back and edit these in. In fact, I'll post another video responding to this, saying why I thought why I did afterwards. But this guy, I'm pretty sure, can do much better than this. You can find, uh, in fact, actually I'm going to challenge him. Alright, here's what I want you to do, buddy. Take the RTP graphics. Make an RPG out of them. I can guarantee you, guarantee, you can make a, you can make a great RPG just by using the RTP graphics. In fact, anyone can do it. That's all i got to say. Final score for this game, 8 of 35, 8 of 35. I will see you all later.